To write the name for PBS, first we need to recognize that PB, this is a transition metal. This is lead. And then S, this is a nonmetal. So we can use these rules here to write the name for PBS. First, we write the name for the metal as it appears on the periodic table. PB, that's lead. Next, we'll write the name for the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So S, that's sulfur, lowercase s. And then we replace the ending, this UR, with IDE. So far, we have the name lead sulfide for PBS. But we need to take into consideration the transition metal. We need to write the charge for the transition metal here in the name. We know that sulfur forms the sulfide ion, and that's always 2 minus. So the lead, it has to be 2 plus for these charges to add up to 0, give us a net charge of 0. So we're going to write a Roman numeral 2 in parentheses between these two names here. So the name for PBS is lead 2 sulfide. If you were given the name lead 2 sulfide and asked to write the formula, you know the lead would be 2 plus because of the Roman numeral here. Then the sulfide ion is always 2 minus. So you'd need one lead and one sulfur for the net charge to be 0. This is Dr. B with the name for PBS, lead 2 sulfide. Thanks for watching.